Hi, it's uh, really nice to be uh, to be here, and uh, I'm excited to chat and tell you more about what we do. Um, so, Loom and I, um, we essentially help take any kind of manual multi-click process and make it one-click. But before I do that, can I have the clicker? <laughs> uh, excellent. Um, I just wanted to share my story. So I actually grew up on a coconut farm for the first eight years of my life in the southern part of India. Uh, and then when I was 10, my parents moved up to the city in my state back, uh, back in India. And I sort of stumbled upon uh, Rubik's Cubes. Um, and I started getting very good at solving Rubik's Cubes. Um, I walked into my like, first ever Rubik's Cube competition. I was like, surrounded by these like, CEOs and musicians and artists and engineers and doctors. And I was like, whoa, like, I guess I can do like, other things. Um, went on to do really well in the Rubik's Cube community. So like, ended up breaking a bunch of Guinness World Records. I was the captain of the Indian national team. So got to kind of travel the world, all funded by the Indian government. Um, and then that sort of landed me in going to this high school called the United World College. It's this high school that brings together people from 70 different countries to work on international peace and understanding. Um, and right after I graduated, I was like, okay, what's the craziest thing I could do to like, live the United World College mission, which was to promote peace. And so very naively decided to cycle from Europe to Asia. So cycled from Turkey to China, uh, about 4,000 or 2,500 miles across nine countries uh, to promote peace. Um, and so that sort of landed me in coming for like a social entrepreneurship summit to the US. Um, came out to Silicon Valley and I was like, holy shit, I gotta be here. Um, but I had no work visa, no money, um, but really the American dream. Uh, what you're seeing here is like a $10 receipt of how much money was left in my bank account. Um, but ended up surviving off of hackathon prize money for six months, and we built Lumini from there. Um, so we lived in a community hacker house with a bunch of other companies, and uh, one of these companies had raised like a massive growth round, and they're going through the roof. Um, their sort of customer service volume was off the charts. So the way they were solving this problem was just by throwing bodies at it. Just kept hiring like more and more support people to kind of meet demand. And that's when we started to rethink, like, hey, why is this the case? Um, and as we started to dig deeper, what we found out was the current systems in place were like incredibly heavy, super clunky, right? Each action that these like customer service representatives were performing were like very many clicks across like multiple different systems. And you see them jumping between these different systems to like perform actions and actually do their job. Um, and it ended up, you know, costing a lot of the companies you're probably working at like tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars every year. Um, so what we ended up building um, was this external layer that sat on top of existing systems to essentially take any kind of multi-click, multi-step process and make it one click. And the way we do that is you can record a video using Lumini software. We keep track of the clicks and keystrokes and then generate a little one-click button on their primary system of work, whether that's something like Zendesk or Salesforce or whatever. Um, and when they click that button, Lumini will actually perform that exact same workflow in like a headless browser window in the background. Um, and so what that actually ended up doing, um, you know, it, I guess this, some of the more traditional things, we raised about $20 million, we're back with some of the uh, best, in, b best here in Silicon Valley. Um, but what that ended up actually doing was it made the most underrepresented sort of folks within a, within a company uh, a lot more empowered. Uh, this is one of the support teams we work with um, who said sort of, you know, it makes them so much more creative and actually helps them do their job, um, which is, you know, the job they signed up for. If you actually go talk to a support rep, they're sort of spending, you know, more than 50%, let me say that again, like 50% like clicking and doing like manual work that software can, can automate. Um, so these are some of the folks we're working with. Um, we're sort of still early in the journey. Um, we're about $600,000 in revenue this year. Um, and we're working with customers like DoorDash, Carta, Aura, Strava, some of these companies you probably know. The next time you get a refund from DoorDash, it's processed by Lumini. So, uh, so that's a you know, fun fact there. Um, so I'll I think the most exciting part about all of this is that we're still a very small team. We're 13 people, uh, of which six of us actually former YC founders. Um, and that's the entrepreneurial culture we're building at Lumini. So when you come in, you become a true owner of the business. Um, and I, I'm here to say very openly, you know, our compensation's at the 90th percentile in terms of equity. Um, and, and so when folks join us, they're a true, true uh, believer, as well as like a, a person who actually 
we'll see that business succeed. Um, we're incredibly customer obsessed, but we also have an insane like underdog culture. And what that leads to is like an insane hunger and a humility that's associated with that. Um, so come join us. We're looking for you know primarily product engineers. Uh, we're looking for someone to come in and sort of being engineering manager and also our first PM. We also have other roles. If you just Google Lumini Lever, it'll show up. So thank you so much.